What's good guys, I'm back with another video, this time it's about chest. Starting with some bench press, I'm warming up with just a bar, 20 kilos. Uh, this was my first chest training in like uh, a month or something. It was quite a long time ago, I went on vacation, I had a competition where I couldn't train. So yeah, we're just starting up recently and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Here you see my second warm up set, it's with 50 kilos. I'm just really trying to get a feel for the bench and the bar again so that I can work my way up again. First working set again, it's a total of 70 kilos. Uh, it's not too heavy, but yeah, like I said, I just need to get a feel for the movement again and just trying to get it in my muscle memory. So that's why I went a little lighter today, just to get my form really on point and my setup just right. As you can see, I experimented a little bit with more angles and just different angles. I got a little gorilla pod, it's called, and you can just stick it to anything that's metal because it's magnetic. And it's really fun, you can you can film from some crazy angles. So let me know in the comments if, if there's any angles that you'd like to see and I'll try to make it happen. I did 5 sets of 5 for this exercise. Um, yes, I, I'm gonna increase the weight by two and a half kilos every workout. So five by five is not it's not that taxing on my body, on my shoulders, because I had some shoulder problems in the past. And yeah, bench doesn't really help shoulder problems; it just makes it worse. So that's why I'm just gonna take it slowly and just increasing the weight every every workout, and not going crazy with the volume. So that's why I like five by five. After bench, I want to do some cable flies, really focusing on the squeeze and the stretch. Squeezing the front and then stretch in the back. Stretching the muscle out and then really squeezing all the blood in it. I don't like to go too heavy on these, just really focusing on the form and keeping everything tight. did three sets of these sometimes I'd like to do more uh, but because this was my first chest workout after a long time I decided to do three uh, because I had a bunch of other exercises I needed to do and this was actually already my third session of the day so I was pretty tired already Alright, so now we're gonna do three sets of incline dumbbell to really focus on the upper chest. I think this is a pretty good exercise to really, really focus the upper part of your chest. Uh, I think that's the part that most people are lacking and need to work on. Most people, they just bench flat. Uh, I like to hit them from, from all other angles. I do dips too, uh, just to develop a great all around chest, not where some parts are lacking and some parts are great, you know. I think this one is actually my favorite exercise of them all, just my favorite chest exercise, because your hands are kind of on the side of the bench, so you have to squeeze it together, and then you also have to press. So you're always doing something. It's, it's just great for getting a good pump. And what I like to do is superset this exercise with some rare delt flies. Because often the rare part of the delt gets neglected. Especially with chest routines. Uh, you do almost everything with your front part of the shoulder. And that creates a big imbalance. So you also need to 
exercise the back part. I do a lot more rare delt exercises on other days, um, but today I just try to focus on chest the most, and I'd like to just throw this in to kind of not overload the front part of the shoulder with all those movements. What we're gonna do is actually two exercises and one easier exercise and we're gonna superset them all. First we're gonna do some dips, then we're gonna do push-ups and then we're gonna do push-ups from our knees. All three go to failure and yeah just see how many you can do basically. Dips first. So as you can see I don't fully lock out my elbows. It's because I want to keep the contraction at the chest and don't use my triceps too much. Then straight to push-ups. Oh. Oh. If you can't do any more of those, just go from your knees. Oh. And that's it. Okay, so you're going to do those three times and then you will want to go to bed and cry and be dead, basically. Good luck. I really like these for finishing my chest workout. It pumps your chest so hard that you can't really do too many push-ups anyways. But it's actually pretty satisfying to not be able to do a push-up. So try it and let me know if it works, if you like it, if you don't like it. After my post-workout shake, absolutely trashed, I'm gonna go home and eat a nice big meal. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.